Hey everyone, my name is Matt Elvin and I'm in my last year of radiology residency at Johns Hopkins Hospital here in sunny Baltimore, Maryland. And I just wanted to take some time to talk about a few things from a recent article in radiology on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on all of us trainees, whether you're an R1 or a fellow, it's obviously impacted all of us on multiple levels. One of the biggest things certainly is staffing. So both from a resident schedule standpoint, fellow schedule standpoint, and of course our, our attendings with regards to who's there in the reading room, who's not, where are you reading from? Are you by yourself? Are you paired with two other residents with only one attending? This can obviously have an impact on our education and we certainly don't want you to feel alone. Obviously for those of us who are in our younger levels of training, Having somebody there to be your mentor one-on-one -on -one with is a vital point of becoming an excellent radiologist. And so coming up with certain solutions, which was part of what my co-authors and I try to do in the article, trying to brainstorm ideas from different institutions, different levels of training based upon what, what we saw that could hopefully help overcome these obstacles. And so obviously one of the things with staffing um, that I've certainly seen in my own personal experience is having a Zoom room that's available throughout the day, um, to, depending on what your, your rotation is that you're covering to be able to literally at the click of a mouse, be able to get in touch with an attending or vice versa. If the attending wants to go through something with with, with you, such as a teaching point on a case that he or she can get in touch with you via the Zoom, which is constantly up on one of our PAC station monitors. And so I've certainly found for my training, being able to have that makes me feel confident and safe that I don't feel alone. And it certainly is something that hopefully other institutions will be able to implement if not, not already done. One of the other things that a lot of us are probably seeing is the impact on education. And so what, what I mean by that is beyond just the staffing, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, but things like morning conferences, things like going to big conferences like RSNA, ASNR, things like that, where instead of being able to go in person and having those opportunities to learn beyond just the reading room are definitely lacking. And so what can you do in this time? Well, one of my favorite things that I love to take advantage of are the RSNA exhibits that are online for all of the previous RSNA years that you're able to log on and go through these very high yield, succinct kind of summaries of topics that are esoteric or things that maybe you haven't really gotten a good lecture on, maybe you don't really understand as much, we all have those one, two, maybe 10, maybe more things that we're definitely struggling with. Well, both those and the radiographics kind of sets of blueprint core articles or on-call articles, I found to be very helpful, no matter what your level of training is, um, to, to be able to make you feel more confident when you're then reading cases. Again, one of the biggest things we worry about, especially for our younger colleagues is the steep learning curve that's associated with radiology, you start to get worried, is there gonna be enough volume for me to learn? Am I gonna have enough oversight to learn? What do I do during my off time? What resources do I use? And so hopefully taking a look at some of these things that I've talked about through the RSNA website, the radiographics articles, being able to have that one-on-one -on -one time with your mentors will help to kind of make you feel more confident in both your learning and what you're actually dictating and communicating to the clinicians. I know this is a challenging time for all of us as trainees. Certainly worries are abound both at home and at work, but as radiologists, just remember, you've chosen the very best possible specialty. Just be grateful every day that you chose radiology because you're still gonna have a wonderful life. You're gonna have a secure job. We're gonna get through this pandemic. You're going to learn all you need to know to be an excellent radiologist. And part of it just starts with being there for each other, just as older residents should be there for younger residents, participating in morning conferences, participating in other teaching opportunities and opportunities even outside the reading room. And that will help us to get through this together and be able to come out as stronger radiologists on the other side. Thanks for your attention and feel free if you have any questions to get in touch with me. My email address is my first initial M and my last name Alvin, A-L-V-I-N, at jhmi.edu. Again, malvin at jhmi.edu. Thanks for your attention. Bye.